Hello, hello, I'm going to give you an update about the image metric grid as how you can display nearly unlimited images within Data Studio from nearly any data source. Um, and hopefully it's really fast. We got some uh, minor updates, some major updates, all those things are wrapped in one. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it and how to configure it to work for your needs. So without further ado, we're just gonna hop right in and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here you're looking at a screen of Data Studio. And if you don't know where uh, to find this, head over to datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube um, and you can find all of our custom visualizations. We've got two so far and a couple more in the works. Um, but we're gonna talk right now about the image metric grid. Okay, so here we are looking at a blank Data Studio dashboard. We are then going to go up to our community visualizations and after you've added your manifest path, after you download it, it will be right here for you to use. Once you select that, you can then select and drag it to be any size. So out of the gate, most of the time you will see where it's not gonna work, right? There'll be nothing loading. Um, as far as like off, off the bat. So how do we configure this? Um, you head over, um, like I'm gonna show you right now, but if you head over to the demo page, we have lots of information on the settings style, uh, so you can dive into that as well. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So here we are looking at a data source that I just made up, um, which has a download URL, which most uh, traffic sources will have. So say for example, you're using Power My Analytics, Supermetrics, a, a free tool, um, any of those uh, major connectors to like an ads platform, uh, they usually have a download URL for our, an image. So what we need to do is we need to first uh, create a new field. So because that is a URL, and so let me just show you what that looks like, is if we add a chart and we just throw this chart over our thing, we can see that download URL is a location where the image lives. So here, if I click on it, you can see that this is the image, it's hosted somewhere else, um, and that image is what we're going to look at. So that is what it looks like, and now we're gonna create an image out of it. So how we can do that is first, we're gonna add a new field and we're gonna type in image and parentheses. And this is the image function. Um, basically what you need is the image URL. And so here, all we need to do is drop in our download URL and comma, and you don't have to put something else, but you can. I'm just gonna keep it simple and just put the download URL. And I'm gonna call this the image preview. All right, so now that we have had that up and running, um, we can do is we can drop that image preview right into the dimensions. And now you'll have something that's showing up. So, but this is all you need off of the, like out of, out of the gate, all you need is a image and then you need a metric. If you head over to the style tab, you can then configure this however you'd like to. You can hide both of those metrics so that now you only have one. You can just show metric number one if you wanted to say put in the amount of impressions that each image uh, saw, right? We could then have that, oh, the right button. You can then put in the number of impressions that each image saw and that should load up in a sec. Oops, I put the image there, that's why. Um, so here, that, that's, all you gotta do, head over to the style tab and you can adjust that to be any color you'd like to. You can change the font, you can change the text and you are off to the races. So now there's some other functionality. So let's let's dive into those. So say for example, you wanted to give someone the option of clicking into the uh, image, right? You can make, a, for example, the image to uh, like there. All you have to do is add a hyperlink. So by default, if I add this, Right there, nothing's gonna happen, right? We, but when, what if we do, if we can, what we can do is create a hyperlink. So hyperlink right there, we're gonna put in that download URL and you can put something in if you'd like to, like click me. You do not need to, but here we go. So now I'm gonna put his image hyperlink, just so I know what is intended to be done. So if we hit that, we now have a new field that is the hyperlink. We can drag that right in here. And now you can have a, a beautiful little icon you can click on and it will open up in a new tab uh, with that image. And you can use anything here. So for example, say you had, um, like we could just put anything. So let's just make another one, right? So if we did hyperlink and we wanted to put in the URL of data studio 
VIP forward slash YouTube where you can go to get this, right? Um, and then we want to put in click me. Now we have a hyperlink to CTA. So now what we can do is we can put in our hyperlink CTA. I'm going to get rid of that. And now if we hit over to view mode, if I click on this, we are now going to that hyperlink, right? So you can use unlimited. It doesn't matter. You can use any type of hyperlink you'd like right there. So now the last hidden feature here is if you wanted to say put in the amount you, I don't know, uh, spent, right? You can drop that in and then go back to style tab, show metric number two, and then you can change this to be something else, right? So you can change these however you'd like to, to adjust on the fly and make things looking nice and pretty. Obviously, I'm not a designer, so you can consult with whoever you'd like to about making your colors snazzy. So the third hidden function, right? This is where it's a hidden function that we have that is just for the power users if you're watching this video to the end, is the ability to filter. So let me just add in a couple scorecards here. We're gonna put in the number of impressions. We'll then put in the number of spend, which I believe is frequency. I'm not sure why I named it that. And um, instead of something that we want to say average, all right. So we got impressions and we got frequency. And so say you wanted to be able to click on a specific uh, image within this uh, grid. What you can do is first you want to go down here to enable cross filtering, right? And what that'll do is it'll allow you to click on something and then say, like, what's happening? Problem is, is that we don't know what to filter on. We've got too many different dimensions here. So what you can actually do is just grab the original download URL. Um, that you have. And then now if you click on it, it will filter on that dimension. So now we can actually filter and say, hey, I wanna select uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, these images. And now we're looking at just the images within the, um, that view. So hopefully that makes some sense, right? So if we head back to edit mode, let's just refresh this, go back to view mode. And now if you'd like to say, let's see what this, uh, Volkswagen bug or Volkswagen van again, it looks like you can select that and it had nine, almost 50,000 impressions and a frequency of 0.2, but then you select this one and you can see how the frequency is much higher for the computer overhead laptop. So you can hold down command, you can um, deselect, you can select multiples if you'd like to. Again, super, super useful and you can do that. Last little housekeeping is it is dynamic so that you can change this to make it look nice and skinny if you want to put it overlaying over a phone to kind of give that Instagram feed, right? Um, and you're able to do that. You can add a date range dimension right here so you can again, filter by date. Uh, and then you are off to the races uh, within your like report, right? So again, very, very, very useful for the majority of people that we've encountered. And I just wanted to give you the new tutorial where we have two metrics and the ability to turn them on and off at will within your report. So that is all everybody. If you want to, to download this, all you have to do is go to datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube and you can get your copy um, of the manifest path. And if you don't know what to do, do not worry. Active campaign automations are there to send you some quick follow-up emails and show you exactly how to use it. I am so stoked for this. So if you ever have any questions, hit reply to that first email that gives you the manifest path and you are, um, again, Looking forward to see how you use it because I know that um, we already have a few hundred people that are using it and are super excited to see how they are able to implement. So without further ado, good luck, happy GDS building, and I will see you next time. See ya.